I think it's safe to say that of all the things in astrology that people are the most familiar with, it's probably their sun sign, meaning where the sun is placed in your natal chart. So you know that if you were born on June 18th, that you are a Gemini, or if you were born on December 24th, you are a Capricorn. And most people equate their sun sign to whatever characteristic the sign embodies, right? However, <laughs> the sun in your natal chart can tell you a lot more, and I mean a lot, okay? So if you wanna know more about what the sun signifies in your natal chart and learn more about yourself in the process, stick around. You definitely don't wanna miss this. Hello, my loves. As always, I hope that this video finds you well and in excellent spirits. If you're new around here, my name is Mel. I'm a professional astrologer and I'm the founder of Divine Feminine Works, where I help people unlock their divinity and discover their magic. And as always, if you are returning, welcome back. So today's video is all about the sun in your natal chart. And I found that this topic is pretty important because a lot of people are really just into sun sign astrology, meaning that they read their horoscopes and the depth of their astrological knowledge really just talks about their sun sign, right? People who identify as Capricorn or people who identify as Cancer or Virgo, they really embody the energy of that sign. And that's kind of where their astrological knowledge ends. So it's really important to understand not only what your sun sign really means, but what it signifies in your natal chart and what it can tell you about yourself. Trust and believe whatever your sun sign is and wherever it is placed in your natal chart says a lot more about you than just your zodiac sign. All right. And in this video, we are going to explore all of that. So without further ado, Let's get into it. In your natal chart, the sun is arguably the most important component. It's not the only important component, but it is pretty important. So think about it in terms of astronomy, right? We have a solar system where everything revolves around the sun. Therefore, the sun has that main character energy. So in your natal chart, your sun is sort of the lifeblood of you right? It's really everything about you. It represents your essence of being. However, I think that a lot of the reason why a lot of people think that astrology is bullshit is because they really only take a look at their sun, more specifically where what sign their sun is placed in. And this is known as sun sign astrology. So typically when you're looking at horoscopes, generally like in magazines or on the internet or whatnot, it really just talks about your sun sign. And so people may think that astrology is bullshit because they're like, well, I'm a Virgo, but I don't really, some of these characteristics don't vibe with me. Like I don't, I'm not really meticulous. I'm actually really messy. Or maybe they're a Libra and they're like, I'm a loner. Like I'm not really all about relationships. So sun sign astrology, like just looking at what sign your sun is in, really only scratches the surface of what astrology can teach you. More importantly, what astrology can teach you about yourself. So when it comes to the sun in your natal chart, like I said, it is the lifeblood of you. It talks all about your personality. It can teach you about your father. It can show you where you are healthy, physically speaking. It can also lend itself to enlightening you about your purpose, all right? So let's get into some of the keywords associated with the sun in your natal chart so you can get a sense of what I'm talking about. When examining the sun in your natal chart, you're going to want to keep in mind what I said before. The sun is the center of the universe and it is the essence of your being. So when it comes to what the sun signifies in your natal chart, it represents things like light, heat, creative energy, masculine energy, kingship, daytime, vitality, individuality, everything having to do with you everything having to do with creative energy, everything having to do with masculine energy, and everything having to do with life force energy are represented by the sun in your natal chart. So if you're breaking out your natal chart and you're taking a look and you're seeing, oh, I have the sun in Sagittarius in the second house, all right? That would make you a Scorpio rising. So this area of life, and I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I'll explain in a minute. 
So this area of life, your second house, this is the house where you embody most of who you are. You're a Sagittarius, but you also have the characteristics of the second house. You also may have characteristics related to where the sun is in relation to other planets. And this brings up a really important point, which is why some people, again, think that astrology is bullshit. They're like, well, I'm a Sagittarius and she's a Sagittarius, but we're really different. Our personalities are really different. Your expression of Sagittarius is going to be different from their expression of Sagittarius because it all depends on where in your natal chart Sagittarius is and where the sun in your natal chart is in relation to other planets. So someone who's got Sagittarius in the second house is going to be a different flavor of Sagittarius than someone who's got Sagittarius in the 10th house. Someone who has Sagittarius conjunct the sun is going to be a very different flavor or category of Sagittarius who's got uh, the sun conjunct Mercury in Sagittarius, right? Everything is different. It's not just about your sun sign, all right? But again, with respect to those keywords, it's all about vitality. The sun is where you are energized. The sun represents where you are healthy. The sun represents the essence of you. It may represent how you... Um, how you express yourself, your creative energy, your physical health, all of these things are related to the sun in your natal chart, all right? So now let's take it a little deeper and talk about some of the significations of the sun in your natal chart. All right, so when we're talking about what the sun signifies in your natal chart, it's important to remember what I said before. It's that everything in the solar system revolves around the sun. So therefore, everything in your natal chart is working out to fulfill whatever the sun in your natal chart is trying to express. Essentially what that means is that everything in your natal chart is designed to fulfill the purpose that the sun in your natal chart represents, okay? It's all about your identity. It's all about your life purpose. It is literally the heart of your natal chart. That's what makes it so important. Like I said before, it's not the most, it's not, there are other important things in your natal chart. However, the sun in your natal chart is pretty damn important, all right? So in terms of expression, it represents your main expression, meaning it represents your personality. How you outwardly express yourself is governed by the sun in your natal chart. Now, everything that I'm about to say really depends on where the sun is placed in your natal chart. So the house that it's in, the zodiac sign that it's in, and any aspects that the sun is making to other planets in your natal chart is gonna give you further information on everything I'm about to talk about. And if you have no idea what the houses, zodiac signs, and aspects are, you're gonna wanna check out my series on how to read your natal chart, where I break down each of these at length. The link to that will be in the description box below. All right, so. Going back to what I was saying, the sun is your identity. How you express yourself really depends on where the sun is in your natal chart. For example, if you are someone who has the sun in the third house, the third house has a lot to do with communication. So you're likely someone who's chatty, someone who likes to learn, and someone who's pretty communicative. Whereas if you are someone who's got the sun in the 12th house, you may be someone who's a little secretive, someone who's a little bit of a recluse. You're not going to be as out there as someone who's got the sun in the third house. Okay. Next up, we've got leadership. So the sun represents leadership and wherever the sun is placed in your natal chart can show you where you can stand up and be a leader. So let's say that you've got the sun in the 10th house, which is a very... Beautiful placement for the sun. You're someone who could really be a leader and stand out in the public eye, perhaps when it comes to big business or organizations. I'm gonna do a separate video on this, but people who tend to have the sun in the 10th house tend to be famous, tend to be well-known, tend to have very public reputations because that's the 10th house is the highest point of the natal chart. And so if you got the sun in the highest point of the natal chart, you are someone who is seen. You're someone who is recognized, all right? Let's see what else we have here. Oh, your father. So the sun in your natal chart can tell you a lot about your father. Specifically, the aspects that the sun makes can tell you sort of what was going on with your dad at the time of your birth. So one of the things I like to do when I'm doing natal chart readings is I like to see the relationship between the sun and the moon. I'm getting ahead of myself, but as I said, the sun represents your father and the moon represents your mother. So looking at 
the relationship between the sun and the moon in your natal chart can tell you a lot about the relationship between your father and your mother at the time of your birth. For instance, and this is overly simplified, there are a lot of other factors that go into this, but typically people that are born at the new moon phase when the sun and the moon are conjunct, their parents are usually together, whether in relationship or actually physically at the time of their birth. Whereas people born at a full moon, sometimes it can signify that your parents may have been estranged, maybe they weren't married, or maybe your father was not physically present at your birth, right? I'm telling you, the sun, actually everything in your natal chart can tell you a lot, right? But most importantly, the sun tells you about your father, the qualities of your father, or maybe how you can embody the qualities of your father, okay? Next up, when it comes to our physical bodies, the sun in your natal chart has a lot to do with your health and vitality. So the sun can be representative of the blood, it covers the heart, and it also covers the spine. Things that really get you, things that really, if those things are out of whack, you are either not energetic, right? Or you're not alive, okay? <laughs> so the sun in your natal chart can tell you a lot about your physical health. Now, in terms of the specifics, the sun has, every planet has particular placements in the natal chart that are better than others. And it depends on the zodiac sign and it depends on the house. While all zodiac signs are created equally, meaning no zodiac sign is better than the other, there are certain houses in your natal chart that are more positive or are better than other houses. So depending on the placement of the sun in your natal chart, you can figure out what your general health situation is like. If your sun is placed in a beneficial house, you may have a lot of energy, you may be generally healthy. Whereas if the sun is placed in a house that's kind of not the best, you may be someone who suffers from chronic illness, or maybe you're just not that energetic. Now that's a very broad and vague and general statement about that. You would have to look at your natal chart specifically to figure that out, but that's sort of the overview of the sun as it relates and signifies your health, okay? Let's see what else we have here. It's also, so where the sun is placed in your natal chart has a lot to do with recognition and how and where you may be acknowledged in life. This sort of speaks to what I was talking about with the sun representing leadership qualities. So it goes without saying that wherever the sun is placed in your chart, that's where you can stand out, that's where you can get recognized, and that's where you can get a lot of attention. So let's say you've got the sun in the seventh house. When it comes to one-on-one -on -one relationships, particularly partnerships and marriages, you stand out, you are a leader, that's where you are recognized and that's where you get a lot of attention. So most of your attention will come from your one-on-one -on -one relationships. Whereas if you've got the sun in the fourth house, you get a lot of attention at home with close family members. Maybe you are the favorite cousin, maybe you're the favorite family member. That is where you'll stand out and where you'll get more attention, all right? Hopefully that makes sense. The sun in your natal chart can also signify your motivations. And this has a lot to do with your purpose or your calling in life, right? The sun tends to energize things. Think of when you put something in the sun, it gets hot, right? So your motivations, particularly even your desires, um, are sort of heated up wherever the sun is in your natal chart. So going back to my example, if you've got your sun in the fourth house, when it comes to family, when it comes to motherhood or nurturing things, this is a motivation that may be very hot within you, that may be very fired up within you. It's something that you really want to do, all right? Let's see what else we have here. The sun in our natal chart can also represent our potential. So this kind of also speaks to your motivations, but it speaks to sort of the area of life where you have untapped potential, where you can grow into something that may interest you. So let's say that you've got uh, the sun in the ninth house, right? Ninth house covers higher education, it covers teachers and gurus. So maybe you have the potential to be a teacher. Maybe you have the potential to lead people in a teaching capacity, or maybe even be a spiritual leader or guru. That represents your potential in this lifetime that also embodies what the sun signifies in your natal chart. And finally, and maybe even most importantly, the sun represents your spiritual health apart from your physical health. So the essence of you 
basically your spirit can also be represented by the sun's placement in your natal chart, all right? So suffice it to say, the sun can show you a lot about yourself. Keyword here is self. The other planets in your natal chart can represent other parts of your life, other people in your life, themes in your life, but it is the sun, which is the middle, it's the center of our solar system, it's also the essence of you. So wherever the sun is placed in your natal chart, you can get a lot of information about you, yourself, and you. <laughs> All right, my love, so that concludes this video on the sun in your natal chart. I sincerely hope that you were able to get at least one important piece of information that you can use to learn more about yourself. If you are interested in getting a natal chart reading with me, you can click on the link in the description box below to order and schedule my signature service called The Blueprint. It is where I read your natal chart to filth and I give you all the information about you from soup to nuts, all right? And again, that link is in the description box below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you in my next video. Take care.